In this video, I'm going to solve a problem of adding sine and cosine functions. So I am given that I have to evaluate sine of 2x, and let's put an amplitude of 5, plus 6 cosine of 2x. And I'd like to evaluate this in terms of sines and cosines. Uh, actually, I'll do it in first in terms of sine, and then I'll convert this into terms of cosine. There are better ways of solving this problem. That's with uh, using uh, phasor diagrams, but uh, the problem is we didn't discuss it yet. So uh, I'm just going to use the regular sine double angle formulas for sine and cosine. To remind you what the double angle formula is, I'm going to write it over here. So this is sine of x plus y. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first convert this into a sine function, and then uh, I'll do cosine. So I'll do the uh, sine first. So sine of xy is sine of x times the cosine of y plus the sine of y times the cosine of x. And let's balance out the parentheses. So if I look over here, it doesn't look like this function sine x cos y, but I'm going to force it. I want it to be a sine function, so in front of the sine, I'm going to somehow magically convert this into something with a cosine and uh, the 6 something with a, with a sine. But uh, to do this, right, the idea is I ask myself, look at 5, 6. There is a point. It's located in quadrant number 1. This point is somewhere over here, 5, 6, and the distance from the origin, right, is A. So I could actually represent 5 by some kind of an amplitude times the cosine of some phase angle phi. And 6 is going to be some amplitude sine of phi. I can calculate what phi is going to be. Phi is going to be equal to, uh, well, it's uh, 5 this way on the horizontal and 6 up, so this is the arc tangent of 6 over 5. That's our phase angle. The amplitude A is going to be the square root, using Pythagoras' theorem, right? 5 squared plus 6 squared. So if I have this, right, this first equation can be rewritten in terms of A cosine of phi sine of 2x plus a sine of phi cosine of 2x. Notice I can factor out the a and use the double angle formula over there. This is the sine of 2x is one side, so this could be the sine portion, and here's the cosine portion. Here's our sine portion, cosine portion. So that's really nothing more than the double angle formula of sine of 2x plus phi where a and phi are given like this. So I've taken a 5 sine of 2x plus 6 cosine of 2x and converted it into a sine function in terms of a sine and uh, a double angle formula. I know the phase angle is arctangent of 6 over 5 and the amplitude is square root of 5 squared plus 6 squared. Let me repeat this calculation over again. I know sines and cosine are offset by uh, pi over 2, but I want to make sure that you understand how to use double angle formulas. So I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to drop this out, erase this, and let's look over. I'd like to take the sum of these two functions and get a cosine. And uh, just to remind you what the cosine. So cosine of x plus y is cosine x cosine y minus sine x sine y. So this is our double angle formula for cosines. So my idea is that if I want this to kind of look like this, somehow I have to get a cosine and a sine over here, and a minus sine actually. So to do this, right, uh, so I'm again going to draw this value, and I'm going to look at a point, but I want this value to somehow get an 6. I want to say that 6 
is I want to get a cosine, so this should be some kind of an amplitude times a cosine of some phi angle, and I want the five to be actually the amplitude of sine of phi, but I want this to be a minus, so I'll put a minus five. So for doing this, right, you've got to imagine that we're working in the x-axis, y below, so we're looking at uh, in the fourth quadrant, quadrant number four. So we're looking at a point that's here, which has a position of six and negative five, and this is going to be our phase angle. So how do you calculate the amplitude? The amplitude is going to be the distance from six to the origin, which would be the square root of six squared plus negative five squared. The phase angle is going to be equal to, uh, sorry, the phase angle is equal to, notice it's negative, but so we have a point six and five, so this is really negative of the arc tangent of five over six. Be careful, the, uh, neg the five and negative six have been swapped because I want to force this to look somehow like this equation right here. So these values, I want a cosine portion here and I want a negative sine portion over here. So we got this arc tangent five over six. So if we plug this back into over here, we'll see that this is really, I'll put the six first. So this will be a cosine of phi cosine of two x and then the 5 is minus a sine of phi and sine of 2x. And if you kind of look at this carefully, right, factor out the a, we'll actually get this to be a double angle formula. So this is cosine of 2x plus phi, where a is equal to the square root of the, well, 6 squared plus negative 5 squared. And they are. Theta is, make sure it's a minus, it's negative, because we're actually working quadrant number four. It doesn't look like it, but it's because I'm trying to match up the cosine and sine equations. So this is a short video on how do you add uh, sine and cosine functions with different amplitudes to get back sines and cosine values.